Okay, rosé color today, a topic that's very important to me, not least of all because of the saying that we taste first of all with our eyes. So if you have a, a, a rosé wine with a beautiful color, that sets you up with a good first impression and hopefully a good tasting experience uh, follows thereafter. But when we're uh, putting together a rosé blend at Night Timber, it's really important to us that the wine is a rosé for all of your senses and not just for your eyes meaning that it should evoke uh, aromas and flavors of red berry flavors and should have a refreshing characteristic uh, that's so important in a really high quality rosé. And we take that so far forward that as a final check, when we have all the wines that we're considering to bottle uh, for, for a given harvest, uh, we make a tasting of the wines in black glasses like this. Uh, and what that enables us to do is to compare the white and the rosé wines without having any chance of seeing the colour inside. Uh, and if we've done our job correctly, if the blend is where we would like it, then, then the rosé should be apparent even without being able to uh, even being able to see the colour. I've heard, I've told this story about uh, blending and using black glasses uh, before and heard various iterations <laughs> come back to me, uh, not least of all that we do all of the blending in, in the black glasses. In other words, we don't have a look at the color uh, ever during the blending process and just at the very end we pour it out and the color is whatever it is. No, that's that that's definitely not the case. So, so blending of a rosé is done fully sighted, uh, but in order to consider that we've achieved what we want, flavor, quality, etc. for a rosé, it needs to pass what we call the, the, the black glass test, uh, a crucial step for us at Night Timber.